Hello, my name is Brandy, and today I will show you how to do an animal mosaic made out of beans. It is a free take and make kit this month in July while supplies last at the Dalton Litchfield County Public Library. Most of what you need will be included in the kit. So you will have some beans, some different kinds of beans. Um, you will have paint and a paintbrush and some glue and a foam brush. You'll also have a piece of cardboard and a stencil or a piece of paper with a lizard on it, which you can cut out to be your stencil or you can draw your own animal on the cardboard, whatever you like. Some things you will need to help with this kit that is not included in the kit would be a pencil, a cup of water, and maybe some paper towels and something to keep your workspace clean. And that is it. Step one is either drawing uh, an animal onto your cardboard or tracing one, because there is one provided in your kit, and I am going to trace the one that's provided in the kit today. And there we go, it's all traced. So now we'll move on to step two. And step two is where you take your foam brush and you dip it in your glue. And I'm gonna start with the image first. So with the uh, lizard, I'm gonna paint on some glue to glue down the, the beans. And it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you, you don't have to, you can go out of the lines a little. I'm just trying to make sure I can see the, the pencil drawing. And then you wanna pick your beans. And we do have three different sizes. So we have Northern beans, Pinto beans, and I think these are split pea beans. So you're gonna to wanna to figure out what would fit better for what you're doing. And where, kinda of where you want to Put them so like for his eyes maybe I want to go with those and it's gonna take a little while for it to dry so they're movable right now and then I think I'm gonna take the split pea and move them around on here because they're so much smaller and they're easier to do an out, a, a weirdly shaped space. So something like that. So I've got his head. And then his, his feet. I don't know how well the video is going to pick up for the outline, but I can see the outline really well. So I'm just going to put the glue all over and not just on the outline makes it easier okay as you can see the beans are dry uh, and we finished covering our lizard if you have more beans at home you can cover the rest of the cardboard if you want to if you want to make a mosaic out of the background as well but if you don't you can just do the lizard and after you paint the lizard which is our next step you can paint your background as well so now we're going to paint the lizard and now you can see i did a line of blue beans uh, I have gone over them a couple of times and I may go over them again once they dry uh, because the more you go over them, the darker it is. Um, but you may want some of the bean color to show through or you may not, it's all up to you. So I'm going to switch colors now. And um, as I mentioned before, that's one of the reasons you might wanna have a cup of water with you and some napkins or tissues to dry your brush off with. Let's do red. So now I'm going to switch to some green.
Okay, now we've done our first coat and everything is dry. And as you can see, I did the background too. Um, and you may want to do extra coats. It depends on how you want it to look and how much depth and color you want. Uh, so I am gonna go back over this with some extra coats and kind of also try to get in between the beans because that is harder to do. You don't have to do that, but if it's something that you prefer. Okay, I finished my second coat of everything and I'm just gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna find a place to hang it on my wall. If you make your own animal mosaic, please share with us on social media or just come by and let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye.